Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Patrick, and this is Fine Spirits Appreciation Society. To today, we're having a look at a single malt scotch from Glenlivet. This is their Caribbean Cask Reserve. It's a single malt scotch whiskey finished in rum barrels. It's bottled at 40% per ABV or 80 proof. So, minimum proof, um, no age statement. It is priced as an entry level uh, bottle, about thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five to forty dollars is the prices that I've seen it at. Uh, this is my first pour of it. I poured it maybe ten minutes ago or so to give it a chance to breathe a little before I try it. Well, without further ado, on to the nose. Slodge. Hmm. Well, it smells pretty good on first impression. There's a uh, fruit. I'm going to go with uh, almost like an apricot with honey. This is a this is a grainy this is, there's like a there's like a grain note. There's a little bit of uh, alcohol, ethanol, um, a ding on the nose, even though it's low proof. Uh, obviously, being an entry level no age statement. Some of the whiskeys in this are going to be kind of young, probably. So that's probably where that's coming from. And maybe just a little bit of oak. Just like the oak tan tannin. Alright, well, on to the palate then. So... Sweet, not sweet and slightly fruity, and then bitter oak. So, the sweet, slightly fruity is like the leftover syrup in like a fruit cock, like a can of fruit cocktail uh, blend. So, like a sugary sweet with slight fruit flavors. And then like just a slightly bitter oak. It's not bad, but I think the nose is a little bit better, even though it's slightly harsh for the proof. Um, the palate's not bad, but. I think you can do better for the price. I think you, even the standard 12 year Glenlivet is a step up from this. Uh, it's okay. I know that they're trying to do, you know, more, a wider lot lineup to appeal to more people, I guess. Because, you know, finishing's a big, popular thing. But this just doesn't really do it for me. Um, if you look back on our channel, I believe we've done a review of the Glenlivet Cognac Cask Selection. I believe that had a 14-year age statement, and it was pretty good. Um, if you're looking for a finished Glenlivet, I recommend looking there. This is... Low proof, young, non age statement. Obviously, you know, caramel coloring added. Uh, slightly harsh on the nose, slightly bitter on the palate. Uh, I don't, I don't feel like it would take water very well, so I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so it's not bad, but it's not great either. I think that there's a lot of better choices out there. I hope you found this review useful. If you did, leave a like. If you tried this, let me know what you thought. Uh, if you haven't tried this and you have some other suggestions to people, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, uh, feel free to do so. I'll be doing reviews like this on a regular basis. Uh, I'll be reviewing scotch, bourbon, rye, uh, rum, cognac, armagnac, any pretty much any spirit you could reasonably expect to eventually make its way onto this channel. Well, until next time, Slasha.